Hello. How are you on this beautiful... It's Friday. So, like, even if it's raining, it can't be bad. Right? That's how I feel about it anyway. Hey, Susan, Beth. How are you guys today? Hey, Vicky. How is Vicky Parsons today? So here's the card that we're kind of going to make. Not really. I mean, same idea. We're going to make it in different colors. Um, because today I found out that a friend of ours at work um, had a heart attack. And he's a guy. So I, you know, the pink and the whatever. So we're going to make it with um, just blues and greens. Okay, so we're going to make him a... A get well card. We're going to make it say something else. What does it say? Wishing you well. So it's a great card. I mean, it's a simple card. Um, But uh, we're going to get the blending brushes out because who doesn't love the blending brushes? Hi, Pam. Welcome to my Facebook Live. I'm so glad you're here. Um, Yeah, this is a different time for me because usually I do this on Thursdays. And yesterday we had work stuff going on. Like, you know, my real job. So, <laughs> I didn't get a chance to go live. And I'm so sorry. But here I am on Friday afternoon. Looking forward to the weekend. I know that Vicky's looking forward to the weekend because her hubby's coming home. So, that's awesome. I'm so excited that her hubby's coming home. So, um, thank you. I appreciate you sharing, Pam. Um, we are going to um, get started making this card. It's super simple. Um, you just need a few things. Um, this is the stamp set and the die that we're going to use. The die is from the Layering Hugs dies. So I always put my dies right in here. Now I have it already cut out, the hugs part. So, But that's where my dies live. And then here's where the stamp set lives. That's just how Sandra does it so she can keep track of stuff. Because otherwise, I get completely lost. So... We're going to start with um, uh, Pacific Point. The way I'm going to do this one, I'll show you. So I don't know if you guys have these blending brushes. And I know right now they're like not available. But they are awesome. And if you don't have them, you need to get them. They're so super soft. They're like, they feel like makeup brushes. But they're awesome. I don't think I'm going to use my two brand new ones. Because uh, I don't really think there's a need to. So... When you're done with them, you just rinse them off in water. I mean, honestly, you put it under the sink, you rinse it off until it's clean coming out, and then you just let it dry. Now, I know that there's still blue ink on there, but it's not coming off. Like, it's not coming off. So you could stick this in your yellow. It, you're still okay. So now I have a few different ones that kind of stay the color that <coughs> I started with. I have others that uh, I just mix and match. It really doesn't matter, okay? So, like I said, you just rinse them off with water. Our our inks, Stampin' Up! inks are water-based. So, water should just rinse it off and it'll be fine. Like I said, it may stain, but that's okay. So, we're going to start with Pacific Point and I am going to put it right in the middle. So, we're going to do Pacific Point in the middle. Then we're going to do Bermuda Bay. And then we're going to do Granny Apple Green at the very top and the very bottom. At least that's my plan. We'll see how it goes. Okay? One tip when you're using a blending brush is when you start to blend, you get your ink on your brush. When you start to blend, you start over here, off of your paper. Okay? We're just using basic white. but And you hold it tight. And I'm going to start over here, off of my paper, because you see that splotch? You don't want that on your paper, okay? And then you're going to go onto your paper. And you should have a smooth, and I'm sorry if this is shaking, but it's kind of the nature of the beast. Um, you should have a smooth blend then if you start off your page and go on to your paper. Some of it's going to be lighter. 
some of it's going to be darker. It's okay. No two cards are ever going to look alike. I bet yours doesn't look anything like mine when you're done. But I also bet that it's beautiful. So I'm going to leave this out just in case we want it again. So that was Pacific Point. Hi, Denise. We're going to move to Bermuda Bay. Um, and the more you use your blending brushes in one sitting, the more ink will stay on here. So like if I made 10 of these cards, by the time I get to the 10th one, there's lots of ink on here. So it's a lot easier to blend. Okay. So this is the Bermuda Bay. So start off of the paper and go on to your project. So we had some, I had some visitors at work. They came from Colorado. I live in central Georgia. And I, I got the privilege of taking them around my town and showing them my town. Well, there's not really much to see. But we went to Bucky's. So I'm not sure if you know what Bucky's is. But um, the one guy that was with us, he was like, we got back in the car. Bucky's is, if you don't know, you should look it up. If you've ever seen one and not stopped, you'll be sorry. So if you ever see one, you should stop. So Bucky's is, I call it Cracker Barrel meets a truck stop, meets a gas station, meets the cleanest bathrooms you've ever seen. And it's huge. So, um, I take them to Bucky's and, uh, he said, this is what he says to me. He says, my sister-in-law says these words when she's talking, when she's telling a story or whatever. She says, hi, Christy from Florida. You're not from Florida. You might be in Florida, but you're not from Florida. Anyway, so sh she says, when she's talking in whatever, she says, I... And all of the things. And all of the things. She says this in the, this the guy's sister-in-law says this in the middle of her stories. And all of the things. And he says, my mo my wife gets really upset. Because she's like, what does that even mean? She says she's talked to her about it. And she was like, I don't even know what that means. And all of the things. He said, after going to Bucky's, I know what that means. And all of the things. <laughs> I'm like, yep. That's, that's the apt description of Bucky's. And all of the things. Because it has all of the things. Like, you can get a swimsuit with the Bucky's logo, the beaver on it. There's a wall of um, pickled things. Like, pickled beets, pickled asparagus we saw today. There is a wall of, um, well, there's a brisket station in the middle where you can get a brisket sandwich. There is a wall of beef jerky. There is just, like, anything that you can imagine. Maybe some things that you can't. Um is in this place called Bucky's. So, all of the things. There you go. There's a wall of soda. You can get all different sorts of soda. So then usually when I'm done with a project, when I'm trying to be done blending, I take my lightest color, that whatever it is that I've been using, and I just kind of go over the whole thing to kind of blend it all together. <laughs> Maybe. So there. There's my background. Well, it's kind of my background. And I think it's a beautiful background for a guy card. I, Because, you know, I just don't think guys like pink. And some of them are okay with it. But, you know. If I'm making a card specifically for a guy. Okay. So let's see. What's next? We are going to use Wink of Stella. Okay. And I don't know if you know what it is, but it's a glittery brush. Hey, Kay. This is a um, glittery brush. And it's awesome. It adds just a little bit of sparkle to your card. Okay. I'm going to show you a tip. This is a brand new Wink of Stella that I got out. And that's what it's called. Wink, W-I-N-K, of Stella. So when you get a brand new one and you go to use it and you're like, you squeeze it. Because there's ink, the inky stuff is up here, the shiny inky stuff. And you should squeeze it, and it should come out. 
the little brush at the bottom. That's the way it should work. So, hello, my friend. So, I missed yesterday, Phyllis, so I'm glad you're here. So, do you see this little black piece right here in the middle? That's like a, it's a bushing. I'll call it a bushing. That's what it's called. So, we're going to take this off. You're just going to untwist it. You're going to take this little bushing out. You have to. Now, you're going to put it back together. Now, this is going to go, there's a little plunger in there. So now it's going to go together and it's going to work. See, now there's no space there because before it wouldn't work. So there's a tip from me to you. Don't go crazy trying to make your Wink of Stella work. You have to take the bushing out. Ask me how I know this. <laughs> oh, ask me how I know. Probably 30 minutes one night trying to make it work and it wouldn't work. I'm like, I got a bad one. No, you don't, my friend. Okay, so it actually says push right on here. So now you're going to squeeze it, and you'll see the ink will come down. See the ink starts to come down? Can you see that? I hope you can see that. So the ink starts to come down, and it's going to come out the tip. Now, right now, I'm going to make a puddle over here because what I'm going to do, instead of brushing it on, is I'm going to um, splatter it on. Okay? So I'm going to splatter and you'll see what it does. At least, I hope you can see. It makes a splatter background. And the, you can do the same thing with water, and actually I think I will. So hang on just one second. Let me get some water. Here's a water pen. That's the big one. That's not going to work so great. This one. This one will work. Okay, so I'm going to get some water. And I'm going to do the same thing with water. Because water is going to have a totally different effect. It's going to make watery splotches. If I can get enough water on here. I love a cool background. So now, we have to let that dry for a second, but now we're going to have water droplets and sparkly droplets. So isn't that kind of neat? I love that. Okay. So let's move this inky thing out of the way, because I sure will make a mess with it. And I'm going to flip this over so we have a clean space to work. So, I'm going to take my die. I already have it cut out. So, I've used the Big Hugs, Flowery Hugs die. And I'm going to get it. I have the adhesive on the back. So, I've used the adhesive on the back. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you another tip. Because we're full of tip today. Um, all of these little pieces right now. Are stuck in this die. Now some of them will come out just if you flick it. Well, actually a lot of them will come out just if you flick it. I mean, and you're not going to hurt it. It's a piece of paper, so you can flick it as hard as you want. See, they don't all come out. Some of them are stuck in there. So because it has the adhesive on the back, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to save time. You don't have to poke. You don't have to poke each one of these out, okay? So I'm going to get the adhesive off the back, and I'm going to show you. Most of them are going to come off just when I pull the adhesive off. So we're pulling the pulling the sticker off of the back. Maybe. It's not supposed to be hard. Come on. I feel like I need to talk to it. See, and some, see, the rest of them just came out of there. But if they don't, you can actually just stick them to your finger. And then they'll pull right off. So, see the adhesive just pulls, it just comes right off of there. So, don't spend your, if you have adhesive on the back, don't spend your time trying to get all those little guys out of there. 
they'll come off. Or you can just leave them on too. Okay, so now we have our die. I'm just gonna stick it right in the middle. Oh, the the sticker sheets are wonderful, Phyllis. I can't wait for you to use them. So we're just going to stick that down. Now, the other thing I'm going to try on this, I didn't try it on the other card, but I'm going to try it on this. I have the letters. Um, this is also when that die set. So it's just the letters hugs. And I did it. It's white. It's going to be white on white. But I'm just going to add another layer of white, I think. Just so it pops up a little bit. I don't know. I'm going to try it. We're going to see what it looks like. And maybe like, mm, you didn't need that. And that's okay. We have to try it. It might be like, mm, you should have done that in a different color. <laughs> that's okay too. <laughs> we'll figure it all out and maybe we'll name maybe we'll make another card. Maybe when you make yours it'll be better than mine. That I don't doubt. So again, we just have the little adhesive on the back. Look at my fingers. Like if I can't make a mess. Let's see. Oh, I think it's gonna be cool. Just like another little layer of white. Just like another little pop-up. Not bad. I don't know that it's necessary, but it doesn't look bad. The splatters are fun. You know, there's another way to splatter. I'll show you in a second. Not on my card. <laughs> Although I guess I could. There's lots of different ways to splatter, and I love them all. Because it just adds texture. You know, it adds something to something to draw your eye, right? That's what we're looking for a little bit sometimes. There we go. There's our, there's our extra layer. It doesn't do a lot, but it does do a little. So I'm going to add our, our card just onto a basic white card base. So we have the white sticking out around the edge. And let's see what happens. I don't know about y'all, but I love this stuff. The Stampin' Seal. Whew. Love it. All right. So there it is. I'm going to add a little bling. I know he's a boy. Can I add a different bling? Should I not add bling? What do you think? It's for a guy. Bling? No bling? I know it's flowers. Hugs. Let's let's put our sentiment and then we'll see what happens. So it's going to say, wishing you well. And I think I'll do it in the Pacific Point. And I think I'll try to get it straight. That one's straight. I'm going to use my um, tailored tag punch to make the V since we got rid of that, whatever it was. Since we got rid of the punch that did that, let's see if I can do this edge too. You see how I did that? Now we're going to punch it. Okay, wishing you well. Just going to pop that up a little bit right there on the bottom. Scissors. Scissors. All right, so I'm hoping that we have a great weekend here. I'm getting ready to do, um, tomorrow we're doing tribe time. 
that's my team meeting here at my home. So that'll be fun. I love to have my team over and teach them something new. Tomorrow we're going to play with the alcohol and the ink. And I have a lady, one of my teammates is going to teach us how to do that because I have not been yet able to figure it out. So she's going to teach us how to play with the alcohol inks. Or the alcohol and the ink. Not alcohol inks. But that's what we're going to do. So, um, that ought to be fun. So, does it need a... Does it need anything? I mean, I think it's pretty. If it was for a girl, I sure would put some rhinestones on it. But it's not for a girl. So, I think maybe I'll just leave it this time. <laughs> so, there you have it. There's my card. Let me show you, before we go, let me show you another splatter technique. I gotta reach over here and get my pen. One of them. So the um, Stampin' and Write markers, you know, these have two ends. There's the end that you can write with, and then there's the end that has the brush. So if you take your cap and just put the end of your marker inside the cap, and then you're gonna flick it down. And I wish there was a better way for me to explain it. But that's what I'm going to do. And it's going to splatter. Just like that. So here's one thing that you need to make sure of when you do it. You need to make sure that all that you want splattered is laying out. And if you don't want something splattered, you need to move it. I should have moved this. Because sometimes your splatters go where you least expect it. Okay? <laughs> so be careful with that. Now we could add some splatter. Watch this. I'm just going to add splatter because I'm telling you, I really like splatter. Let me get the right color. We can't use Blackberry Bliss because that would, that would not be good. Granny Apple Green. Is that what, that's what I used. So watch this. Now I'm going to cover this right here because I don't really want it on the white. Oh no, I'm going to get it on that white. It'll be fine. I can cover it. I can cover it. I have ways. I can cover up all the pieces that I don't want splattered. Watch. And then we're just going to splatter it a little bit. Okay, ready? Now we have a different splatter on there. We have three different splatters on our card. You know what? I'm just going to go, go ahead and splatter right on that uh, wishing you well, too. Ah, don't worry about my card. It'll be fine. This is going to be cool. There. Now we have even more splatters. Now I'm probably happier with it because I didn't have to add rhinestones. Like, I did get a little on the edge, but it's okay. There you go. So now you've seen all the splatters. All the different ways to splatter. And don't ever think that you're done with the card because you can always add something else, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. But don't forget the different way, how to get your Wink of Stella to work when you get a brand new one. And then all the different ways to splatter. And I would love to see if you have a different way to do it and um, what you call it. If you have a different way, share it with me. I'd love to see it. Because I love a good splatter technique. That's the truth. So, thanks so much for hanging out with me a little bit on this beautiful Friday afternoon. It has to be beautiful. It's Friday. And I don't have to work tomorrow or Sunday. So, there you go. And I will catch you guys next week. I'm going to upload this on YouTube. So, if you want to watch it again, it'll be on YouTube. And my channel is just my name, Sandra Hernandez. So if you can find me, you can subscribe to my channel. I'd like that. So um, that's all I got today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you. I'll see you guys later.